Hello and welcome in this session we are going to learn how to migrate Postgre database from one server to another using pg uh, dump all. So I have two server already with me and uh, the source server the IP address is 192.168.1.113 and the target server is 192.168.1.116. Both of them are already having the Postgre version 13 installed and as a prerequisite since this is a lab environment and uh, uh, we have uh, already disabled the firewall and uh, SE Linux is uh, disabled and uh, the password of Postgre database user has been set to password and the database can be accessed remotely. I will show you what is there and then we will start from there. So this is my source server having the IP address 192.168.113 and you can see on the listen address this is the IP address on the target side also this is the target server which is having the IP address uh, 116 and if I just check the postgresql.conf file um, the IP address is set to listen underscore address that means they can be accessed remotely with one more setting if you just check uh, your uh, uh, hba.conf file you will be able to see that this is my okay pg it should be pg underscore hba.conf so I have mentioned that uh, the IP address in this range they should be accessible. So uh, from my laptop also which is having the IP address uh, in this range so I will be able to access it. And uh, the same goes for uh, the source as well. So I'll just show how it is. This is required in order to ensure that we are able to access it remotely. You can see that configuration is also over here. I think it's here. Yeah. Okay. Now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to take a backup of all the database from the source and we will transfer it to the target uh, and then we will restore it over there. It is very straightforward demo that we are going to perform. Okay, so let's let's begin with that. And uh, the first thing which there are a few prerequisites that you can can check out like uh, finding the size of the database. What I have done in advance is I'm already connected to uh, PG admin using uh, to the both the source and the target server. So I'll show this is this is my source 192.168.113 and the target is 116. So if you go and just uh, check this um, source database server, this is this is how it is. Okay, let me go and connect to the source database server in uh, Postgre database. And uh, what you can do is you can fire a few commands to find out the size and other details. So what you will do is just replace the database name with the databases which are there on the source side. So I have several databases demo DVD rental DVD rental underscore two three four five. So just just if you wanted to capture all these details. So I'll say DVD rental. So it is DVD rental. So I just check the name. DVD R E N T A L. Just checking the size, and uh, we will cross verify this uh, should not be available on the target environment. Okay, let's execute this. You can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six databases. Just, just I'm trying to execute because this will be required. There's 15 MB in size, so they, they are replica of each other, these databases. So somewhere around 60, 60, uh, I mean uh, 70 or 80 MB of data is there on the source uh, side. 
on the target side which is my 116 you don't see any database right this is just the default postgre database so you can capture all the details uh, from here so you can list down the databases on the source using the command prompt it is easy to do you just say psql uh, list down the databases like this you can see uh, there are nine rows there are two template databases one is default uh, postgre databases and uh, these are six databases which are uh, user created or uh, you can fire this select dat name from pg underscore database that will give you the details of the database on the source side also you can find out all the schemas on the source and you need to record all these when you are doing the migration this is just to cross verify uh, when you are uh, already on the target just to cross verify everything is fine or not or you can can find all the details of the individual uh, objects on the source source side uh, using this command and this will show you how many uh, default non-default and count of the objects are there okay so and you can uh, list down the users I believe I have not created any user other than the default one but if you create you will be able to capture that so by default it is just the postgre on the source side and you can find out if you have any extensions uh, uh, deployed on the source side and the tar target I believe it is already not set up so we just installed the binaries there only and the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to to backup of the databases on the source site so we'll say and the location of the file system where we are going to store on the source side is postgre slash backup and the same location uh, we have on the target as well this is not mandatory this is just we have it so i'm just going to take backup of all the databases on the source side just exit out of the uh, the postgre command prompt and just say pg dump all and this should be done any moment so once this is done you have to transfer so if you see this ls hyphen ltr this backup file will be created and you need to transfer this from source to target side using the scp okay so what i'm going to say is scp it from the source side and uh, transfer it to the target so let's navigate to that location cd and uh, if you say ls hyphen lrt you can see all dot sql and uh, we will scp it from source to target side target is 116 ip address this is the username and this is the location where it is going to copy i'm just saying yes i want to continue give the password of postgre on the target side it is i believe password only or postgre yes it is let's go to target side first of all let's try login using psql yes we are able to log in and now navigate to the location where you have copied the we have copied it to this location all.sql you can see and if you say psql slash l this is going to list down all the databases so you have just three default databases and we are going to import all the databases now so we'll say psql and uh, the name of and these are the databases uh, which are required to be over here but let's see if it throws any error when we say psql on the target side okay there are few things which it has not done 
we'll say PUSQL and just say slash L. You can see all the databases are restored. What is not done is the the um, extensions. So you need to create uh, those extensions manually on the target side if they are not done. And you can cross check the other components which you have recorded when you you are trying to record everything from the source side. So uh, in, a, in a nutshell, we have uh, transferred the dump from source to target and we have imported. We haven't mentioned the database name and it, the, the way it is there on the source side, the same databases will be created over here. So what you need to do more than this is you just go here, just refresh it and you should be able to see all the databases which are restored. You need to uh, confirm the users, the, uh, the if you have schemas, they are uh, coming over here or not. So you, you need to conf uh, check out the table spaces as well. And those are the mandatory things which, which you need to, to check about. And uh, since the database size was less, uh, we could have used over the network also. So in another session, we are going to see how to, to do it over the network when the database size is very, very small. I hope uh, this migration is going to help you and thanks for watching.